10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, <laughs> Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. We have lift off. Battery discharge is normal. And there we have it. Our 25th electron launch vehicle is off the pad for this mission and project progressing well on its way to low Earth orbit. Soon the vehicle will approach the point in its journey when it experiences the most amount of stress, maximum aerodynamic pressure, which is known as max Q. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, Two, one, and we have liftoff. Is nominal. T plus 31 seconds into the mission, and Electron is airborne after our 26th launch from LC1. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Proportion is nominal. Entering burnout detect mode. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. And we have left off. Stage one proportion is nominal. High voltage battery discharge, nominal. Our 28th electron launch vehicle has successfully lifted off the pad and is on its way to space. Before it gets there, it has a number of critical milestones to pass through, the first of which is called Max Q. Max Q is the first test in Electron's journey, where it experiences maximum aerodynamic pressure, or where the forces on the rocket are at their peak. Ten. 
10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 0. And we have liftoff. Beak is pitching over. Stage one proportional is nominal. HVB discharge looks nominal. Entered burnout detect mode. There we go, T plus 50 seconds into the NROL 199 mission on its Antipodean adventure. Electron's engines will soon power down slightly to prepare the rocket to pass through max Q, or the point of maximum aerodynamic pressure against Electron during launch. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Stage one propulsion. Our 30th Electron has taken to the skies, having successfully lifted off the pad at Launch Complex 1. You can see the distinctive shape of the Mahia Peninsula below as the vehicle is on its way to space, carrying our 300th Rutherford engine and 150th satellite. The next critical stage in Electron's flight is Max Q, maximum aerodynamic pressure. This is when the vehicle's velocity and local air density are at their maximum and the vehicle experiences the most mechanical stress. We'll hear that call from Mission Control when Electron clears that stage of flight. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, Ignition. 2, 1. Liftoff. Stage one proportional, uh, no nominal. T plus 38 seconds and our 31st Electron has lifted off from the pad at Rocket Lab Launch Complex 1. Electron is powering its way to orbit for General Atomics. The next and we are T minus 19 seconds and counting. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three. Two, one. Liftoff. Beginning to pitch over. Stage one propulsion nominal. Lab Launch Complex 1 and is on its way to space carrying the MATS satellite. Our rocket recovery attempt is also now officially underway. Coming up on supersonic speeds, Electron will be travelling faster than the speed of sound as it approaches its first mission milestone, maximum aerodynamic pressure. Electron's Rutherford engines will throttle down slightly to pass this pressure point and once cleared we should hear the call from Mission Control that the rocket has passed max Q. Vehicle is supersonic.
approaching Max Q. And vehicle has cleared Max Q. There we go, as expected, Electron has cleared that first milestone and is continuing nominally. Electron's Rutherford engines will now throttle back up as the mission continues on and all looks nominal for propulsion there with that beautiful view of LC1 below. In about a minute, we will reach the point in the launch when Stage Electron goes, separates it itself. Known as stage separation, the Rutherford engines on the first stage will shut down for the rocket to safely separate before the engine on the second stage can fire up and carry on with the mission. The calls for these events will proceed as MECO, station. or main engine cutoff, stage separation, and then second stage engine start. And here is when our recovery stage team begin bumper, their bumper, countdown bumper, to the bumper, helicopter bumper, catch bumper, as the seconds. first stage will begin its journey back to Earth. Standing by now, though, for those calls. Fifteen seconds to staging. Entered burnout detect mode. Miko confirm. Stage separation successful. Stage to ignition. And as you can see, we have had a successful Miko and stage separation, followed by the engine on Electron's oh, second no, no. stage igniting successfully. You can see that by the red-hot glow of the Rutherford nozzle on your screen there. For recovery, the first stage is now beginning its journey back home. Discharge the trajectories for both stages are looking good so far. The next mission event will be fairing separation on the second stage, coming up in just a few moments. Fairing jettison succeeded. In fact, actually, there it goes. Electron's fairing has been deployed. And Matt is now exposed stage to space while normal. remaining attached to the rocket's second stage as it continues on the path to orbit. The vehicle is now travelling at a speed of more than 8,000 kilometres an hour with an altitude of 129 kilometres. Meanwhile, Electron's first stage continues its migration over the South Pacific Ocean. When it separated from the second stage, it was travelling at such high speed that its trajectory continued upward from the momentum. But in another minute or so, it is expected to reach the highest point of that arc, otherwise known as the apogee, and from there, descend toward the capture zone where our recovery helicopter is ready and on standby to proceed. We should hear the call out from Mission Control and we'll keep up that first stage camera view on your left for as long as we can. Stage two propulsion, still nominal. The telemetry data for both stages is on your screen and coming back nice and clear, showing the progress of the first stage. We're just starting to see that arc back downward as it heads towards Earth, whereas on the right, that telemetry line is heading upward as it should as Electron's second stage continues to orbit. This camera view on Electron's first stage tells us a lot about how well the booster is faring on its way back to Earth, because with the, speed hitting, with the stage sorry, hitting speeds of up to eight times the speed of sound, we may actually see a glow at the bottom, and that would be from plasma, which forms during the descent as a condition of a very fast atmospheric re-entry. Stage 2 guidance still nominal, 200 seconds remaining. Electron's second stage, though, continuing to orbit with propulsion firing hot and nominal. Fairly soon, Electron, though, will need another power source for Rutherford's electric pump cycle. We use batteries for this, but like all batteries, they stage run out of juice after extended use. Nominal. So Electron performs an action called the battery hot swap, 
where it swaps over to a new set mid-flight to keep the engine running for longer. Sometimes you can catch a glimpse of these battery packs falling away. So let's listen in for the call out from Mission Control and watch our screen for those battery packs. Engine is starting to throttle down. Up to up, successful. Battery jettison confirmed. There's that call from Mission Control. Battery hot swap is confirmed. The cameras are a little bit late, but we can confirm those batteries did swap over as planned.